Well, Saturday morning comes then, and we dive into what I believe are five incredible gifts that God has given us to understand His enlightenment, to understand His vision, His hope, as Ephesians shared with us. So there's five. The first one is my tangible eyes. How God created my eyes for so much more than just seeing, but even as we're talking here, I'm discerning whether you're interested or not just by what I see. The intent of my eyes is such an incredible gift. It helps me understand and and see and understand people and discern circumstances and sincerity and situations. And God created, the scriptures say, He created in my, my eyes and my ears for greater understanding. This is a beginning of a completely different way of following the Lord, of, of seeing what He wants to show you, what He's trying to show you in, in terms of the hope He's called you to, and also just flat out recognizing when He's talking, when He's moving. And so there's five gifts. The first one is my eyes. He has given me this gift to discern, to, to see and worship the world around me. This is where we sing a worship song in this conference that is all about how my eyes lead me into an experience of worship. That's a gift that God has given. And when I see the mountains and the grandeur and the skies when you fly in an airplane and you go, my goodness, God is so much greater than I ever dreamed uh, He was. But my eyes are leading me into this realization. And so the number one gift is my eyes. Why did you pick that? I mean, why did you pick Ephesians for that with the eyes? I mean, were you conscious of the idea that said, well, you know, Paul wrote that. And you remember what happened is Paul's headed, headed to persecute Jesus' followers. Jesus takes his eyesight from him. And so now he concentrates on the situation. It's he doesn't hard. have his eyesight mm -hmm. until it is restored to him. And obviously, if you look at his readings and, uh, and his writings, they're absolutely amazing. He has such wisdom. Insight, yeah. yeah. Well, this goes back to a companion scripture as well that is paramount to the uh, understanding of this, uh, this conference. It's found in 2 Corinthians uh, uh, chapter 4, ironically, verse 18, the same thing. It's uh, a, uh, an encouragement from the Apostle Paul to the church in Corinth that says, fix your eyes, your attention, all of your focus on what is unseen rather than what is seen. For if you focus on what is unseen, meaning God's greater story, God's greater purpose, Rick Warren would call it our upper story, while we're living out our tangible reality here, God has an upper story that's occurring at simultaneously that He has a, a greater purpose. You often hear people say, all things happen for a reason. Well, I don't believe the Christ follower can follow that philosophy because just explaining things as things happen for a reason doesn't give God the credit for its purpose. So I often am talking with individuals going, what if you, we were to change our mindset to things around us happen, but they're all for God's reason? Whether it's an accident, it's a new job opportunity, it's a new friendship, whatever it would be. If I had the mindset that I'm going to keep my eyes focused on the unseen, God's greater reason and purpose, not just what I see, how different my life would be. I think Paul, in the midst of the mess that the Corinth church was, was writing to them and saying, take your eyes off of all the things that are happening around you. Keep your eyes focused, your soul focused on Christ and on His purpose and vision and reason for things that are happening. So the, eyes, uh, the eye is a gift, and this is such a powerful gift because it helps me see what's happening but in my soul, I must allow my soul to leave. We'll talk about that one in just a moment. 